Hi folks, Jason Clemens here from Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. This is our 2013 Boston Whaler 190 Outrage. Unfortunately, with the way we had our open house set up, I can't get a good view of the outside. So as soon as we get this out, I'll get that too. But I wanted to get at least a video of the interior. This boat has the new 150 Mercury XL four-stroke. That's got more displacement than any other 150 on the market. Uh, and is also lighter, so it's got a lot of power. Um, very smooth at idle. This has the platform built onto the boat, which is nice. That gives this boat a little bit more room than some other models because that does not count in the length. So you get a full footage boat. You also have a nice square transom, which is nice to land fish off of. Let me step in here. Got your couple cup holders back in the corners. There's a little storage compartment underneath that seat. There's a cushion for it, which is over here. And this one actually lifts up and out so you can unhinge it. So you have a little extra fishing space. You can actually walk to the corner of the boat. This has your compartment here with your live well in it. There's also the seat back for this side. We have it removed now for easy boarding, but it's in here. You can get these with leaning posts or bucket seats. This seat has the flip, flip down bolster or flip up bolster down. It has the bolster flipped up. That's nice for running. Uh, you can use it as a leaning post. And this is down. A lot of people like these seats instead of the leaning post because for our area you can perch fish or fish off the side of the boat uh, and have a seat to sit in. Whereas with the leaning post it's more of a, a running seat. It's not as good to sit on when you're, when you're parked. Here's the console. Smart craft gauges. Uh, this does have a troll down button so you can troll the, the idle down uh, to get the boat slower for a certain, certain fishing if you need to get it down around the one mile an hour mark. CD player build in. This boat has trim tabs. This also has a council cover and a seat cover. Um, so you have this. This can all be covered uh, while the boat's outside so you don't get it weathered. Wider gunnels on the Outrage than the Dauntless and the Montauk. That allows you to have rod holders built into the gunnel which is nice. Here's your sun top. Lots of coverage here. Stainless steel. All stainless steel fittings and it's easy to quick disconnect. You don't have to have any tools for that. Here's the console, a small console, but it's still good for storage. Good place here to put flare kit, fire extinguishers. Both your covers are in there. Moving up towards the bow, lots of open space. You can have a cushion for this bow. Most people that buy this like to fish, so they prefer to have it open. But if you want to turn into more of a pleasure boat, it could be added, or of course you could add a uh, order one with it. Here's your fish locker on the front. They use a nice rubber grommet on there, which is which is a good feature. It keeps it from vibrating at all. Uh, when you're out hitting waves, you're not hearing it uh, making any knocking sounds. It keeps it nice and quiet. With the four strokes, you don't get much engine rumble out of it, um, but it is nice for when you're hitting waves. Here's your cooler seat in the bow with a big backrest on it. You'll see a lot of boats that have these have a small backrest or, or none, so they're not very comfortable. Whaler does a good job of making their boats comfortable, so if you're not fishing, you still have a comfortable boat to sit in. This spot right here is for the, the uh, seat base there. When it pops out, you have a place to store it. So not only did they make it to where you can get to the back to fish, they also put a place uh, to be able to, to store that so it's not just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. If you have any more questions on this boat, you can check us out at clemensboats.com. While you're there, make sure and uh, click on the like button for Facebook so you can uh, stay updated with us. And you can also call us at 419-684-5365. Thanks.